going on everyone this is the mac roberts back again with another nba 2k21 my player builder video and today we're going to be taking a look at the best bob pettit build now bob pettit was the hawks first superstar drafted in 1954 when the team was in milwaukee pettit was an instant star becoming an all-star and all nba first team member and winning rookie of the year all in his first season however the hawks weren't very good in 1956 pettit won his and the league's first mvp led the league in scoring, and won All-Star Game MVP. However, the Hawks finished under 500. In the draft that year, the Hawks drafted Bill Russell out of San Francisco and started their dynasty with the two big men, and they won the next 12 rings. Oh wait, sorry, no, they traded Russell on draft night for All-Star center Ed McCauley and Cliff Hagan, who was in the military and hadn't played a game yet. So yes, the Hawks could have had the best power forward and center in the league and traded the center away before letting him even play. It wasn't all bad, Hagen became a five-time All-Star and McCauley had one more All-Star season left in the tank before retiring in 1959 and they were both Hall of Famers. And they even stopped the Celtics from winning 10 straight championships, stealing the 1958 title away from them. However, they could have had two players who were top five all-time at their position in their primes. And like I said in the Pau Gasol video, if the Hawks trade away a guy on draft day, assume he's going to be good. But Pettit won another MVP, three more All-Star Game MVPs, was named to 10 more All-NBA teams and All-Star teams, led the league in scoring twice and rebounding once, and is the only player in NBA history to play more than four seasons and average more than 20 points per game in every season they played. He was also named to the 50 greatest players list in 1996. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be power forward, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose nine, because that's the number he wore with the Hawks for his entire career. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the more green than blue pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the strength and vert physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to a 93 and max it out. Bring your driving dunk up to a 65. Bring your driving dunk up to a 77 and max it out. And bring your post hook up to an 85 and max it out. And that's going to give you 19 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to bring your mid-range shot up to a 76. Your three point shot up to a 72. Your free throw up to an 82. And your post fade up to an 85. And that's going to give you 21 shooting badges. For playmaking, you're going to bring your pass accuracy up to a 52. And your post moves up to a 75. And that's going to give you four playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're going to bring your interior defense up to a 68. Your block up to a 72 your offensive rebounding up to a 67, and your defensive rebounding up to a 74. And that's gonna give you six defense and rebounding badges. So 19 finishing, 21 shooting, four playmaking, and six defense and rebounding badges is a total of 50 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with solid. Height is going to be 6'9". Weight is going to be 276 pounds. Not as exact weight, but I needed to bring the interior defense up as always. And for the wingspan, you're gonna bring it up to 89 inches. So at 99 overall, you have a close shot of 99, a 50 driving layup, a 68 driving dunk, an 87 standing dunk, so you will be able to get the big man contact dunks, and a 90 post hook. For your shooting stats, you have a 78 mid-range shot, a 75 three-point shot, an 86 free throw, and an 88 post fade. For your playmaking, you'll have a 56 pass accuracy, a 43 ball handle, and an 80 post moves. And for your defense and rebounding, you'll have a 78 interior defense, a 43 perimeter defense, a 79 block, a 73 offensive rebound, and an 80 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the Gemini bag will be 64 for speed, 64 acceleration, 82 for vert, and 93 for strength. For the takeover, uh, you could either go with the rim protector takeover or the post score takeover. I'm just going to go with the post score takeover. And the build is complete and you have built an interior finisher, shades of Kevin Love, Jermaine O'Neal, and John Collins. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're going to put back down finisher on gold, contact finisher on gold, deep hooks on gold, drop stepper on gold, put back boss on gold, relentless finisher on gold, and pro touch on bronze. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put catch and shoot on gold, clutch shooter on silver, dead eye on gold, pick and popper on Hall of Fame, 
range extender on gold, volume shooter on gold, and tireless shooter on gold. For your playmaking badge, you're going to put Dream Shake on silver and Post Spin Technician on silver. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're going to put Brick Wall on gold and Rebound Chaser on gold. All right, everyone, this has been the best Bob Pettit build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall. And you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel. So you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests. So if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.